Hey everybody, Quad Jet Power here. Going to show you uh, a real quick video how to install a hot air or electric choke housing onto the side of the carburetor and the way the components are going to work. <clears throat> Got everything disassembled here. Have all the parts. Going to show where the new parts go, how everything's going to go together um, to get it all working properly. Uh, First thing we're going to do, I usually throw these away. This is a secondary lockout device, so if the choke is is on at all, it's going to lock out the secondaries from opening. Um, you don't have to reuse this, but if you do, this is how it goes. It's going to go on this little slot there. You want to make sure that it's going to push up against and lock out the secondaries and move back and forth on that shaft. So we've got the housing, and yeah, I know everything's dirty, um, but just wanted to pull one off the shelf and show this video. In our kits or another, when you're working on these, you need the two, the two choke shaft seals. One of these is gonna go on the body itself where the shaft goes into the body just slides right in there. The other one is going to go into the choke housing where the shaft goes through the housing. On the hot air chokes there's vacuum that's going through all of these components so it's going to keep everything sealed off there. Um, let me go ahead and get so we have the fast idle cam Fast idle cam is going to slide over the, the housing and then the choke component here, shaft is going to go through, inside we're going to make sure it doesn't push out the, which it did, I'm going to put back in the Go back through. Well, with this one being dirty, it's being a little, a little ornery, but. That won't be a problem. Okay, so we're gonna put the fast title cam on to the housing. This little bent part is going to go towards the carburetor body. You want to make sure that this arm goes underneath the fast idle cam because it's going to raise it when it needs to be raised. Okay, so now, now we've got the seal in place. These two parts are in place. Want to make sure everything moves freely there. And then we have the choke shaft seal here, the choke housing seal. It's going to go in place. Unless I drop it and lose it. I'll go ahead and put it in the body there because this is where the vacuum's pulled through into the into the choke housing. So now we're going to drop in the choke actuator and the rod. I'm going to drop it in here so that I can see it. I'm going to put it in place. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the part here that connects onto the choke flap. Holding the actuator in place with my pin tool here so that it stays where I need it to stay. I'm going to go ahead and connect all this up here so that it's working. I'm going to lower it all the way down. I'm going to open the throttle shaft just a little bit. 
And with this turned up on its side, that's the easiest way to get this choke component back into place. Because this slot is going to slide through the actuator that's inside the body. And now that I'm up on its side, the actuator is staying in place. Now I'm just going to slide the choke on. I'm going to put it over the choke housing seal. Now everything slid right on the right where it needs to be. You want to make sure all this is going to operate and open and close easily. Now we're going to install the choke piece here that the choke element fits on. On this one, it's a Phillips head screw. Now I'm going to put this screw on to hold the choke housing onto the body. It's a flathead. Some of the later ones, it's a Torx head. There, that gets everything in place. Now this should move easily, which it does. I'm going to let the Throttle go back into place. Now we have a gasket that goes on. Since this is a hot air choke, you need a gasket there to seal it with this hot air choke element and put it in place. And turn it, and I'll put the screws back in place on it. These are the wrong screws, but it's. going to work. Never know what we'll find on these old ones that we run across. So you have these little retainers that are going to go on. The screws are going to go in place and hold with the retainers. It's going to hold the choke. Not going to tighten all these down yet because we want to just hold it all in place while we make the adjustments. So there, the choke is in place. I'm going to make sure that it's got enough tension to close the primary flap just slightly so it's easy to move. While the choke is on and activated, I'm going to look down here and we're going to see that the secondary lockout is in place and would function if you want that ability. Now the last thing on this particular one, so we got everything connected, everything's in place, everything's good, we'll tighten that down. And then the uh, pull off is gonna go into place. This pull off functions as the choke pull off and the secondary vacuum brake. Just going to make sure that it's not going to interfere when we're tightening it down with the fast idle cam. Okay, so once that's tight, when the choke is closed, we want to make sure the pull off is going to open. When it's pulled, we want to make sure it opens the primary, the choke flap about an eighth of an inch this one isn't pulling it far enough it's got an adjustment screw here that's what that's for so we're gonna make the adjustment let's open a little bit more now you can see it's opening about an eighth of an inch there when it's fully activated 
and that's that's what we want so we'll set that in place and let that let that work for the choke opening there great you can get all the parts at quadrajetpower.com we've got electric choke conversions for the hot air choke housings that has all the components that i showed you there the choke shaft seal the choke housing tube seal um, the choke housing gasket we've got all those components that you need if you're doing an electric choke conversion you do not need the gasket you do need to block off the vacuum source we use a, a 1032 screw uh, brass screw to actually screw into the port on the side of the body so to block off that vacuum source you can also cap off the the source here on the side of the choke where the hot air tube would originally go in um, hope that helps that's how to install a, the hot air choke or the electric choke components to your side of your carburetor thank you for watching make sure you subscribe so you can see all the new videos when we get them done thank you